Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Brittany from AJ and Smart. In this video today, I'm gonna to take you through a whole bunch of online resources that are gonna help you learn UX and UI for free. No money required. That's right. No money, no problems, because this is all for free. So this video is gonna be really great if you're just starting out in the UX, UI product industry. I'm gonna actually take you into my laptop and show you around 10 to 15 amazing resources that you can use literally right now. You can start today to learn UX, UI, product design, to get a little bit of inspiration. These are gonna be some really nice resources that'll just kick you off in the right direction. They're all free, you can start them all right now. And I'm not talking about you know articles and videos, I'm talking about like full-blown courses and really needy, needy resources. <laughs> <laughs> that will help you learn. <laughs> I have so many resources to share with you guys today. I'm gonna stop talking and start showing. So let's dive into the first one. We have um, a free online course from Udacity. Now Udacity is a, is a platform that has tons and tons of online courses and actually a lot of them are for free to start. Um, the thing is you can then move into the paid program if you're really enjoying it or you find you're getting a lot from it. So this one is uh, called Product Design. It's actually instructed by people who work in product design at Google so you know that it's you know legit. Basically the whole idea is it's about validation and UX through design sprints, funny enough. Um, here at AJ and Smart, we do a lot of those. Um, so it is free, it'll take you about two months. Um, so it's a pretty robust course, which is nice. And the skill level is intermediate. So I think that this would be nice for someone who is actually, you know, knows what UX is, knows what product design is, but needs to get a little bit more of those hands-on basics. All you have to do is uh, you sign up, you sign in to get started, it's super easy. And actually it's, you know, the free courses, of course, leading into the nano degree program. Your course leads here, here are Chris Sadden and Amir Chevet. Great names, both of you guys. Um, and here's the cool thing, you have um, these four kind of key lessons. So you're learning ideation and validation, you're learning um, UX and UI here. So you're actually learning how things should look, what's kind of the standard in the industry. Um, you're learning about the design sprint, which um, you know we happen to know a lot about, so you could learn that on our channel as well. But they'll uh, go into kind of the basics behind that, as well as um, key metrics. So how to actually identify metrics for websites and apps relating to you know, traffic, customer satisfaction, and engagement. So this is a really nice course that you can just get started in and see how you like it, um, and then you can move on um, further from there. Okay, let's jump into the next tab I have here. This one is from Envision. Um, I really like this because it's, a, it's called Design Talks and it's actually uh, webinars and kind of uh, online talks about uh, product design, UX, design thinking, all these kinds of things, and they're all coming from experts, right? So you actually have people from, you know, this guy is from Airbnb, Dan Howard, uh, Dane, Ooh. Dane Howard from Airbnb, and he's actually running one of these talks about the future of UX design. These are the kind of thing that you can really like get really meaty, meaty. I really love that word today. You can get really great um, advice from these people. They're actually working within the industry. And what's really cool is there's tons of them that you can watch. Look at all of these. They're all open, free, and really just like, you're gonna get some really in-depth insights through these. Um, and then you can sign up if you want to watch them live as well. So that would be our second resource from Envision. Very, very great. Okay, moving along. Oh, this is one of my favorites that I found actually. Um, this is uh, Design Better uh, and it's called The Principles of Product Design. So this is a little bit more of the basics, but it's super in-depth and, and really like nice to look at, easy to read. Um, you're actually talking about, you know, uh, uh, the core best practices that are gonna help you be able to design better, faster, and more, more collaboratively. Um, so it's you can download the whole thing, but then they also have it outlined in all, in all these chapters. So like, um, I really liked this one. This chapter two is all about, um, let me just go to chapter two here. It's all about story, <laughs> storytelling. Oh, I might not be on the... actually happened one time before. Maybe it's a problem with the site. Sorry, I might have to cut that out for a second. 
Okay, so this is chapter number two um, that is all about like storytelling and how to actually do that. And it's not just like this very kind of, um, you know, ambiguous talk about how storytelling is important. It's actually going into super detailed of like how to actually use a narrative framework for your products. Um, super great. And then we also have um, this guy here who's Kevin Chang from Incredible Labs, and he kind of walks you through how he uses storytelling um, in his daily work. So um, it's really high, like really high production value, which I kind of appreciate. I like that. Um, when I'm learning, I like to be entertained as well. Um, but what's really cool is they talk about creating user journey maps with, through storytelling. Also down here, there's some really nice um, visuals, pop, 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 pop. tons of nice videos. So the whole thing is really nicely laid out for you. It makes a lot of sense, you know what I mean? Like you can go through this whole um, sort of chapter and you really feel like you're getting some really great insights. So it's gonna be really, really helpful for you. There's tons of nice little videos that pop up. There's even down here when we talk about personas, there's like kind of like a little worksheet that you can actually go through um, to help you, you know, just get that started. Um, if you've never done it before, it might be something that is a little bit uh, new to you, creating an actual user persona for this product that you're uh, making. So really highly recommend this one. It's from Design Better, uh, which is actually from Envision as well. So those Envision guys, they're on it in terms of education. Very, very good. So. The next one that I want to bring up is actually uh, Coursera. So Coursera is obviously an online, um, if you, you might already know about it, but it's an online platform that has tons of courses on it. And a lot of them have sort of a free start, like a, you know, a free chunk at the beginning. And then you can upgrade if you, if you want to. A lot of times with these online platforms, they'll give you the, the kind of mini course for free. They just won't provide you with the certificate. So if you're just at that point where you're curious about, you know, how you actually works and you want to see if you're really interested in it or you want to get that nice boost at the start of your career, um, these are some really great ways to do that. So Coursera has um, Introduction to User Experience Design. That would be a really great one to start with. Uh, it's going to give you the basics. This focus of this course is to introduce the learner to user experience design. Pretty straightforward. Just describing what actually UX is, um, they go into some nice details as well. You can see um, here, there's also tons of other um, very similar courses. So once you finish the intro, you can then move into talking about information design, maybe user experience, research and prototyping. That's a really big one for us especially. Um, the design principles. So you can even get into the, the like nitty gritty of like visual design as well. So Coursera, I would highly recommend checking that out as well. Not not as visually nice to look at, I have to say. Which is a bit of a downer in terms of, you know, design courses, but oh well. Okay, this is another one. So this one is called uh, Future Learn, uh, futurelearn.com. They have tons of courses as well. This one is uh, a user experience course. So you're gonna learn about why user experience in UX is important, the research and design basics, and the tools and testing techniques used in UX. You're getting a little bit more detail in this one. And what's nice about this is they kind of have laid out, you know, your studies and how you should actually do it. So the course will last about three weeks. And the, the idea is that you would do about two hours per week. So this is great if you have another job that you're doing full time, because really committing two hours per week for a, a course is doable. Uh, with a full-time job as well. So this one um, is uh, really nice. You have these nice videos as well. So they go through what topics you're gonna actually cover by the week. So week one is why is user experience important. So you're learning the foundation and actually looking at what good usability really is. Week two, you're going through user experience basics. So the importance of user research, super important, user journeys, visual design, structuring your site, um, wireframes and interactive prototypes. So in a lot of ways, they're they're, they are going to be focusing on web design for this, but also super, I mean, when it comes to user research journeys and visual design, it will be very similar. Um, and then week three is tools and testing. So you're going to talk about user testing, interaction design, and the importance of analyzing data. So actually a pretty robust course for just three weeks and is full free. So, right? How can you not love it? Um, they also have um, other courses as well that you can check out. Tons and tons. You can look them all up here 
short courses, they've got in-depth programs, and they have online degrees. So you can definitely start here and then take it from there. Okay, the next one um, that I really like actually, I have a couple of these kind of similar ones coming up. This one is called Hack Design, and it is a, a design course, um, but actually really great for people who are maybe a little bit lazier like myself. So this is actually you sign up with your email address and you get uh, on a weekly basis, you get delivered um, uh, the course. So it actually kind of eases you in to the, the actual content. Um, and basically, um, it's, you have all of these instructors as well. So these are people who are actually working in the industry, which is so important. Um, I absolutely hate it when you're learning from someone who used to work in design, you know, years ago and they aren't actually, they have no idea what's going on in the current uh, landscape. So super important and a variety of opinions and, uh, and instructors, which is also important to get out of your uh, UX design education. So uh, you sign up with your email address, you get, curated lessons every week and you're learning at your own pace so you can you know have your other job and your life which is important. Um, so Hack Design, highly recommend checking that one out. Okay, the next one is from Envision. It's called Principles of UX Design. And this is another one where actually you'll sign up with your email address and you will get one email chapter per week on the guiding principles of good UX design. Doesn't that sound lovely? Um, so you'll receive the following chapters. There's nine chapters here. What is user experience? UX as a practice and the roles that make it up. Project planning and process. So this is really good actually if you are good, planning on going into a company to work. So you'll actually get a good idea of what it's like working on a, on a product team, um, which, you know, before you actually go into your first job, there's really not a lot of ways of finding all that out. Um, what's user research? What are the persona, what are personas and why they're important? Information architecture, visual design, presenting and participating in UX reviews, uh, and then beyond UX, which who knows what that is, right? I have no idea. I like that they keep it ambiguous. It's really good. Okay, let's move on to kind of uh, one that you might actually already know about. It's called lynda.com. So this is from LinkedIn. You might already know it now. Actually, the Lynda courses are not for free. However, you can get a free month. So it's like, you know, you can have a free month trial. So why not make the most of it, right? Sign up for a free month trial and then just like enroll yourself in tons of courses. Maybe just do one or two just to make you actually, make sure you actually do it. Um, but there's really, like, look at this, Practical UX Weekly, you have UX Design for Developers, that's great. Sketch for UX Design, this is really cool, actually. So you can actually learn these hands-on tools. Um, let's see what this is For an is experienced like. designer or someone who's just getting into UX or product design, Sketch is an amazing tool. It has all the features you need to design for digital devices and screens, and it's easy to use no matter your level of experience. Doesn't she sound excited to teach you? <laughs> I actually think this is really great though because not often do you get these like free courses that are about a tool um, and you don't have to flood through like all of the uh, YouTube channels to try to find someone who's actually explaining it well. Um, so that's really nice. Um, and there's tons of them. I mean, let me just go back. My computer's failing me today. So become a UX, ex uh, sorry, become an user experience designer, um, UX research, Photoshop for UX design, Figma for like, it's endless on Linda, actually. This is really, really great. So if you can, um, just try it for a month, see how you like it, and then maybe you can even sign up for, for a little while longer um, just to kind of improve your skills. They have so many nice courses and tools here. So the next one is uh, very, very cool. This is all about material design. And now material design is, of course, Google's design guidelines, and they've released this to, to give you a really nice overview and deep dive on material design, how it should look, how it should feel. Um, you're going to talk colors, typography, shapes, interaction. It's really a nice, nice resource. So um, it also looks really nice. Thank you, Google. So the next one I'm going to show you is Invato. Now, Invato is a marketplace for uh, a lot of different things. You can find um, graphics, you can find themes, you can find uh, like basically anything for kind of media uh, and design. So they also have a lot of really nice 
bite-sized courses. Um, so you can actually look up in this category, you can click I want UX courses, um, I had already clicked on that, but here is all of the UX kind of based courses. And that what's really nice is they're like 43 minutes long, you know, 37 minutes long. Um, and they're about all kinds of things. So like this, so why the secret of good UX design is saving users time. Um, everything you need to learn about customer journey mapping. Um, there's even one from our friend Dansky about Adobe XD. Uh, Daniel White has a really nice YouTube channel. You should check it out. We'll put the link below if you want to learn um, anything about like Photoshop. Um, he is just a really nice visual designer. So, um, Envato is definitely one to check out. If you want just like little bite-sized uh, pieces of, of content or little courses. Um, if you don't want something as like big and robust as what we looked at before. So now I'm actually gonna show you something that uh, is quite cool. This is just on Medium. Uh, the UX Collective um, is, a, is basically a publication on Medium. But this guy, uh, I love this. So he uh, calls it his ultimate start guide for beginner UX UI designers in 2019. He's been collecting all of these things that have helped him in his career over the past five years and has put them all here for you. So this resource is gonna be really great for someone who's a, a true newbie, right, to the industry. He talks about how to, you know, get in touch with your community, how to, like the actual basics behind design um, and, and some nice tools that he's used um, throughout his career. So really it's a nice, um, easy to, and it's just full of links. I love it when people just pump their articles full of links. And that's the reason why I actually showed this because I didn't want to show just articles, but he shows so many nice um, nice articles. He even talks about like design companies that he's following and you know their blogs and you can find all those here. Um, so bravo, sir. Let's see. Johnny Vino. Well done, sir. I really enjoyed this and I think that um, you guys will find it really helpful as well. Okay. The last two are actually just magazines that I think are really, really great to stay in touch with uh, design principles and to learn a little bit more about the industry in general, the business behind design. Um, Smashing Magazine is really great. So, I mean, every day basically there's new articles about UX, about product, about strategy. I um, mean, these are things that even if you're a beginner in this world, you need to know about the business behind the product and like what the strategy is behind the business in order to really contribute in a real way. So I think that it's really important to watch. I mean, yeah, these are really great. Some are a little bit more um, intricate than others, like design a lead gen landing page for mobile that converts. That's a little bit like, you know, pretty, um, that's pretty detailed. We also have things about like UX privacy. Um, you even have like Sketch versus Figma, Adobe XD and other UI applications. So you can really get a good idea of what people are kind of thinking, what they're saying, what they're talking about right now in the industry. And that's the same, uh, same goes with this uh, Muesli magazine, which is also um, on Medium. Um, Muesli is really, really great. It publishes all kinds of articles from all kinds of different people, but all around UX design um, and you know product design. So you're going to have things from like things about uh, typeface, Helvetica. You know, um, you could also have things about more kind of like strategy, deep diving. Um, yeah, like what I learned from trying to redesign the online craft market experience. This is really detailed stuff, but learning these kinds of things are going to be able to help you to talk about UX more fluently and be able to actually like pull from different things that you've read and learned. Um, so I think it's really important to always stay updated. So things from, you know, just simple design stuff to um, more like talking about, uh, let's see here, mm, like a like really nice case studies. Measley is actually really great about, to, oh, look, this is Johnny Vino again. He's popping up again. Um, but yeah, he has some really nice um, case studies. Uh, and, Everybody loves a case study. That gives you a really nice look um, through the process of design from initial concept to actually delivering to, to the app store, for instance. So that is a whole bunch of free resources that you can use. Everything from actual like thought out specific courses to little bite-sized pieces of content if you just have a few minutes and you want to learn something really fast. Um, all of these things though that I've shown you are going to help you get a really nice overview of what UX is, what design actually means. Um, it's going to show you some of the tools that are sort of standard in the industry and then it's also going to be able to show you, um, you know, some best practices behind how, you know, the industry is currently working and that is a really, really great start 
if you're interested in learning a little bit more about UX design. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, I would love if you hit the little like button. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, you definitely should. We have tons and tons of videos on our channel, as well as new videos coming out weekly about UX design, product design, product strategy, the business behind design. Um, it's a really, we're working really hard to make some nice content for you guys. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> Also, if there are some resources that you've found that I didn't mention, I would love if you mentioned them in the comments. Um, that'll be really, really helpful for all of the viewers as well. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you want a little bit more from us and you're just like, I've watched everything on YouTube and I want more, what you can do is follow us on Instagram. We have daily vlogs. Uh, is it a vlog if it's on Instagram? Daily stories. daily stories. We have daily stories about what's going on in our agency. Um, and we also are always sharing valuable stuff there. We have um, a Facebook group called Innovation Hackers. It's excellent. It's a bunch of people who are sharing innovation practices, UX design principles. It's a really, really nice group that's very, very active. We also have a podcast. If you're into podcasts, and product design, then you should definitely be listening to our podcast. It's called The Product Breakfast Club. It's featuring Jake Knapp, the author of Sprint, and Jonathan Courtney, our CEO, and they are talking all things product. Um, so definitely tune into that one. Thanks again so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great, great day. All right. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brittany from AJ and Smart. Is what's up a little bit too no, weird? No, it was very, it was very enthusiastic. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if what's up is really on brand for me, but I'm gonna it's, try it's, it. It's new. We it's can, new. We can, we can throw it in there with a bit of preparation. Love it. So, okay. okay. It's just. It's is it gonna, irritating? Oh, it All right. You and your balance, uh, Callum. You over the top. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. No money. No money. No problem. <laughs> is that the same? No money, no problems. What is the thing? It's like... More money, more problems. More money. Yeah. It's more money. There we go. Is that okay? It's not digging into your thing. No, that's fine. Okay, more money, more money, more problems. I didn't want to stir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're disturbing now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I didn't. That's the, the book of real life. So. There it is. Okay.